<clears throat> Hello, everyone. Uh, we are privileged to have with us today, Mr. Shaul Mazur, who is uh, Vice President Marketing and Business Development at Bird Error Systems. Thank you so much, sir, for having, uh, for giving us this opportunity, taking out your valuable time for us. It's a pleasure to have you with us. We would like to have a nice chat regarding the business bird aero systems, as well as IDEX and the Middle East Business Review. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for inviting us. And we're happy to be back uh, with you on this uh, interview and uh, to share with you know, with the, with everybody who's listening from our, uh, you know, updates and new developments. And uh, thank you for inviting us again. Right. So we missed you at IDEX due to the COVID restrictions, but I'm sure the show has opened a lot new vistas for bird error systems. So how has been the business virtually? How you have been dealing with all the contacts with invites virtually? I think it was, uh, as you have said, a very uh, big challenge for us. And we were looking very much uh, to be in IDEX and to share again, uh, uh, to be part actually of this new relationship that has been formed in the last six months between Israel and uh, the different countries, the UAE and uh, also some others. And for us, this has represented uh, an excellent opportunity to leverage our product into a new market, uh, which we have not yet been exposed to, uh, which is the Middle East market. Yes. So it was actually very close to us, but very far from us on the business side. And I think that uh, the disappointment that we couldn't make it uh, has brought us to be creative and uh, innovational as we are doing in the business side. And we have used our, uh, some of our local partners to represent us in front of the customers. Uh, we, as you, we have used the same Zoom application that we are talking now to do some online presentations mm -hmm. uh, to the delegations that have come in to the, to the show. And I think that maybe we did not get 100% out of the show as we expected, but we got 60%, 70%, and we got some kind of an introduction going with the end customers, which we will use the next few months to follow up, uh, providing we can take it into meetings and flights or Zoom meetings as we are doing now. Yeah. As you said, yes, the new uh, relationship of Middle East with Israel. It's it's an it's a news. It's a big news. It's a big step. So how this is helping bird error systems in the business? Are you tapping more Middle East customers after this? I think it is a first. You know, it's a nice thing both on the personal level as an Israeli who has been living uh, in the Middle East for so long, and also on the business side because uh, I think it relates to the. Uh, the COVID-19 situation and the challenges that we are all facing. Uh, business has been very slow on the defense side. Uh, the fact that we could not fly to the customers, meet, uh, show ourselves in the exhibitions around the world has sort of uh, put us on a kind of a position where we are considering who should we focus on and what are the markets that are less affected. Because I think we will see in the next year or so also the defense budgets are shrinking a little bit to mm -hmm. put money more into the economy. And I think from that side, opening up the relationship with the Middle East offers us a huge opportunity. I think these are customers that are appreciating the high end solutions that we as Israeli can provide them with. I think they are uh, looking for these new solution, innovative solutions, and they are moving ahead with their procurement uh, plans. And I think this uh, in general uh, allows us now to open up to a new market that has not yet been tapped in that sense. And I think uh, both solutions that we are selling as bird and both for the missile protection systems on aircraft, mm -hmm. as well as for the coastal surveillance or infrastructure uh, protection solutions, 
we see a very strong requirement in that sense from them. And I think this is, we will focus on this in the next year or so. So it's not only about the companies or the, the Middle East companies that you are tying up with. How about the, let's say, UAE defense sector? I mean, UAE defense ministry or uh, other Middle East defense ministry. How they are, are they approaching you with more um, products? Yes, absolutely. And I think it's much more than the UAE. I think the UAE was the first one to take this official step and sign the contract, but we are seeing others. Uh, and I think I, I don't want to mention the names because in some of the others, still the working with the Israeli company needs to be sort of under a local partnership or a local industry. But we are seeing a lot of interest. We are seeing a lot of potential. Uh, and this is something that we have not seen before. And in these difficult times of the COVID, I think it's a great opportunity. Great. So are you a supplier for NATO? I mean, uh, are you, are uh, Isbud Systems a supplier for NATO? And are all the three, land, marine, and air systems, are you working for all these three sectors? Absolutely. I think, uh, uh, over the years, we have established our business to very high-end customers such as NATO members. Mm -hmm. I, can tell I can tell you that uh, uh, just last year, we have signed a very nice program, for example, with the Czech Air Force of upgrading all their, the systems that we already provided them on their uh, helicopters that were also deployed at the time in Afghanistan and were saving lives of the soldiers. We have now been awarded the program to upgrade all these systems and uh, other countries as well, NATO members, which are buying from us. Uh, and I think for us, this is a, this is a very uh, important customers because these are recognizable countries that everybody's looking to see what they are buying. Uh, we are protecting several heads of states within NATO members with our missile protection system. Uh, and I think at the end, uh, the fact that we have sort of a NATO number that the NATO NAMSA agency can procure on a regular basis, for us, it's very good because it's sort of shortening the red tape uh, uh, bureaucracy issues that we are facing. Mm -hmm. So uh, are there any areas which are still untapped I mean, I mean to say in terms of business, for example, Southeast Asia, or you already have a market in India, African markets, are there still any markets that Bird Aerosystem feels that they need to tap in? I think we are tapping most of the markets or reaching out to most of the markets. The question is, when you reach to a market, whether there is a requirement in that mm -hmm. market. And these requirements, are fluid, which means a country that you, we have been working for three years, four years, have said there's no requirement for your product. For example, Colombia mm -hmm. in uh, South America, they, they weren't worried about the threat of missiles uh, hitting their aircraft. And suddenly something happened. And after four years, immediately they understood that they were wrong and there was a big threat. And suddenly they come back to us and say, okay, we're interested now in buying your missile protection system and to and I think that's where you bring in the relationship and that's where your presence in the market is so important. Uh, and I think the COVID-19 in this aspect again, and I'm sorry that I'm relating to it, but this is actually what we're dealing with. Yes, of course. Sort of, sort of brought us to the understanding that it's not enough to do everything from Israel as we have done before, mm -hmm. and that we need to have local teams in the different areas, whether it's in Asia or Africa or Europe or the US or South America that are locally positioned and are able to visit the neighboring country without the requirement for long international flights. Mm -hmm. Because that's, I guess, how you can meet the customer these days. You need so, to sit next to them. Yeah. So in a way, you mean to say COVID has helped all the organizations, the companies to make more better relationships among each other. Yes, I think you can look at it. On one hand, it helped because now we have a team that is close to the customers able to meet. 
On the other hand, who would think that we would do a Zoom meeting like we are doing today? Yeah. And so a Zoom meeting is an excellent way, but on the other hand, it's difficult because it's difficult to have a relationship over Zoom. Uh, but I think it made us more creative. At the end, COVID helped us to be more creative in how we approach the customers, yeah. how we maintain the relationship with the customers, and even how we conduct negotiations over the, with the customers. Virtually, yes. Yes, virtually. <laughs> so now we come to your business operations in India. A uh, lot of things are happening, we got to know. So can you please uh, elucidate more on that? I think uh, India is, uh, is a huge market for us and we are extremely happy to work in India. Uh, right now we are focusing uh, on two main offerings that we have in India. The first one is our missile protection system to protect the aircraft of the Indian Army and Indian Air Force uh, against the, sho the shoulder launched missiles. Mm -hmm. And here we are offering the Indian our uh, newly developed DIRCAM solution, which is called SPRAOS and which brings a, a, a unique added value to the customer in terms of force reduction, accuracy, and enhanced protection at the end to the platform and to the crew. And I think we are very proud to work with the Air Force on this. Uh, and the other thing is we are doing right now is we are also exploring uh, issues related to uh, maritime patrol. Mm -hmm and uh, providing a, whether it's maritime patrol or ground surveillance solution using our aircraft as well. Uh, and I think that's something that the Indians are looking for. There are the huge programs that, for example, CUBS is developing, Center of Airborne uh, Systems in Bangalore. And these are the very high-end solutions, but sometimes you're looking also for the medium and that's where uh, type solutions and that's where we are uh, specializing in and I, I, I you know I look forward I think India is also in a we couldn't meet with the Indian MOD for now almost uh, one year mm -hmm. so I, I hope things will uh, be relaxed a little more soon and that the campaigns will uh, uh, will be restarted again yeah, no we had a good show in Eru India yes it was a good one and uh, things started moving after that actually so, but again, we as Israeli companies were unable to attend this on a wide scope. Uh, yes, like in, pre in previous years, this was the number one show, but... Exactly. It exactly. was very limited. It was limited. Yes. And there were a lot of restrictions. There were a lot of limitations there. So finally, we come to IDEX 2021. Today is the last day of the show. And uh, all these uh, five days, what were the expectations of bird era system from IDEX? And how much they got fulfilled your comments on that uh, i think uh, we, we started with this uh, the expectations was to tap into a market which we haven't yet tapped into to meet customers that we were not able to meet up to now mm -hmm. and to offer this officially under the israeli logo and uh, you know a, a, a flag uh, to the these customers which was never done before because it was done to some extent, but under European relationships and middlemen. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that uh, these expectations have been fulfilled to some extent, maybe not a hundred percent due to the fact that we could not be there. Mm -hmm. But uh, as I said, maybe 60, 70 percent. Uh, and, and I would like to thank our business partners in the country, I think. They've done an excellent job in supporting us from remote, in meeting with the delegations, in opening the door, creating the discussion. Uh, and as I said, you need to be creative these days. Otherwise, you cannot uh, fulfill the business. Of course, it's, uh, it's uh, though virtually, but things did work. Things did yes. start moving. It's actually a good hope that, okay, now things will turn slowly, slowly to normalcy. Absolutely. I share this with you completely. Yes. And we, I think um, Israel is one of the leaders in today, the vaccine that we are receiving, and we are starting to see the effect, how this is bringing us back into the 
you know, uh, to the normal way of life that we used to one year ago, uh, uh, and we hope it will be better. Of course, we are all hoping for the same. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Shalvezer, for joining us. It was uh, an excellent time talking to you, knowing your views about your products and IBEX. It was a pleasure speaking to you, and we hope to meet you personally very soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much for inviting us again and for having us here on your show. Thank you. Thank you.